Have you ever heard of chocolate salami? It's a 10 minute, no big dessert I grew up with and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So you need a pot, a spoon, 10 minutes of your time. That's all you need to bring it together. We're gonna start with some butter, heavy cream. Just pour it all in there. Just warm these up so they melt the sugar, they melt the chocolate, they hydrate the cocoa powder and all that fun stuff. The sugar's in there just for sweetness. It doesn't add much to the texture. So if you're like, Carolina, I don't need sugar, blah, 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 you could do monk fruit instead. I would kind of stay away from stevia. It's kind of gross, but monk fruit should do the job in this case. Go in with some salt, doesn't make anything salty, unless you want it to, it just like brings those flavors out. I'm using Dutch processed cocoa powder, it's a little better, a little tastier. Whenever you use cocoa powder, you wanna run it through a sieve, it's kind of annoying, you get another dish dirty, but cocoa powder tends to clump up like real bad. If you were to just dump it in, you would have like clumps of dry cocoa powder, which you don't want. So it's an extra step, but it is worth it. Our next ingredient, some dark chocolate. You could use milk chocolate, you could use fun chocolate, boring chocolate, whatever chocolate you have. There's just some 70% dark chocolate. I'm gonna break it in there and the hot liquid is just gonna melt it. Show you what's happening in the pot. We're waiting for stuff to melt and hydrate. One final ingredient, a little bit of rum, just a little bit. If you know anything about Romania, we love our rum essence. Pretty much any Romanian dessert you'll ever have will have rum essence in it. And for a good reason, it works, it's delicious. But if you don't do alcohol or anything like that, skip it, it's gonna be fine without it. Let me switch to a whisk. I see a few lumps in there, so let me just break those apart real quick. <laughs> I was at a thrift store like two weeks ago and I've been looking for an excuse to use it, so. Mm, delicious. What can I tell you about this? I grew up with this, although it's an Italian and Portuguese dessert, it's very, very popular in Eastern Europe. Every country has a version of it. Some do eggs, some do condensed milk, some do this, some do that. I grew up with a version that has eggs in it, but I did leave them out for this recipe because I know you're gonna be like, I can I do this without eggs? And I'm gonna be like, no, and you're gonna be upset. So this is how I make it without eggs. Just saying. So our mixture is bubbling, it's nice and smooth. We're gonna remove it off the heat. Here's what we're working with. Two more ingredients going in. We have some cookies or some crackers and some pistachios. Look how green those are. Bougie. You want something that doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. So like digestive cookies, honey graham crackers, blah, 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 you get the point. Since these already come in a bag, I just like to crush them in there. You don't need to like move them to a Ziploc and crush them. Like they're so fine, you can just like, crush them with that. You don't want to find crumb, you want like big chunks that can absorb this. Then you open them, just dump them in there. Mix until combined and don't forget about our bougie pistachios. Just a handful, just for some color. Maybe the whole thing. You could try it right now, see if you forgot salt, sugar, if you want it sweeter, if you want it on. That's delicious. Plastic wrap on the counter and dump this whole thing on it. Now we want to shoot. And now you have to shape this pile of chocolate into a log. Uh, let me bring you over so you can see what I'm doing. You know when you have like stuff in your way and it's just like, uh, I'm gonna leave mine outside because it's cold enough for this to freeze. Uh, you don't wanna hesitate here, just pick it up with confidence. Because it's so floppy, it's gonna like start to ooze out in places. So just do that. Our chocolate salami is ready. Let's unwrap it. We're gonna top it all off with some powdered sugar. You could also dust it with some cocoa powder. That could also look kind of nice. And there you have it, our chocolate salami. Now you get why they call it a chocolate salami. Let's cut into it. Slice. Here it is, let's try it. Mmm, that's delicious. 